What is up? What is up? It is currently 8 p.m. and I just got off of work. Um, what I'm a little scared of is that this is going to be a shorter vlog than the other ones. I know I say that a lot, but uh, I got to study for my business exam tomorrow. So I'm going to be more focused on that and then I'm going to edit the video. But overall, I, I think it's going to be a short video. So I'll see you guys soon. Today is September 22nd, 2015, and it is 8 a.m. And I'm about to head to school, and unfortunately, my battery just died on my car. And my battery's about to die on my camera, too. I'm back up and running. Do you want to say anything to the vlog before the thing dies? Ooh. To the vlog. You want to say anything inspirational? I'm inspirational. Go to school. Today is September 22nd, 2015. It is currently 10.50 p.m. And unfortunately, I could not come up with a vlog today. So instead of creating a vlog of my life, I just wanted to do one inspirational talk that I've always wanted to talk about because it's something I have learned throughout the years of my life. So here we go. Okay. So just to give a fair warning, I am 18 years old and this is literally what I've learned till this day. What my talk about is going to be is success equaling failure. In this world, there are doers and then there are spectators. What doers are is they capture a vision or an idea that's in their head and try to find a path or create a blueprint to make it possible. Taking the risk of failing and taking the risk of winning. What spectators are, in the best words I can say it without making fun of these people, are people who love to enjoy the show, who in their head don't want to take the risk of losing or even failing is that we were all born and raised not to do it. Never to fail, because if you fail, you're, you're, not, you're not going anywhere. But truth be told, you should treat your failures like a learning experience. The reason why Michael Jordan has the history he has till we know today is because he's missed more shots than he has made. The chances of succeeding at your first time of doing anything is almost slim till none. So, in order to do something, you must at least attempt it. Failure is not considered to be important, and the, the one reason being is no, it's a negative attribute that comes to your life. No one likes a negative attribute. The crazy part about it is, um, Albert Einstein said this really, really well, is that if you succeed in everything you do, you're not trying anything new. Without having a vision on doing something you want to accomplish, it's like driving around ha with having no destination to go to. You're literally just wasting gas. The scary and the most likely the ugly truth to this is that with, you cannot have success without having failure. And it, ha it works the same way backwards. At the end of the day, success feels great and failure doesn't. But whenever you feel down, look at the look at our leaders and tell me how many times they have failed to be where they are. This is just a lesson I have learned from 18 years or you can just say maybe my past six years of doing anything in life. That right there. Success being same, measured the same as failure. I, and sometimes I believe failure should be measured a little, little harder. Uh, I want to thank you guys for staying this long in the video. I'm sorry there was no vlog. I didn't want to bore you guys to death even if I did vlog. But I want to thank you guys for the support. And I'll catch you tomorrow. And I, prom uh, I promise you there will be a vlog tomorrow. That I, that I will. So uh, see you later. And please don't forget to subscribe.